Hello, my name is Adam Pratt, and today we will be setting up the Shurex Flex 5S Pull to Stroke tool to install rivet nuts. Step one is putting the proper thread size nose piece onto the tool. First, we begin by taking the hex driver and placing onto the tool. We will then take a socket head cap screw, place that onto the hex driver. We will then take a spacer and put the spacer over the socket head cap screw. The spacer is only required for sizes smaller than M10 and 3 8 We will take the castle nut, thread over the socket head cap screw. You will want to pull the silver bar back, it's spring loaded, and thread the castle nut all the way until it stops. We'll then release the silver bar and we want to make sure that it falls down into one of the grooves. Next we will take the nose piece right over top, take this until it is tight. Next we will take our anvil place this into the nose piece. The final step with setting up the nose piece is making sure that the mandrel extends beyond the rivet nut approximately one thread. So you can see here it's a little bit longer so we can actually thread this out a little bit more to make sure we have one thread extending beyond the rivet nut. Now that we have the proper thread size on the nose piece installed onto the tool, we will next adjust the stroke distance, the pulling distance of the tool for the application. As you can see on the Flex 5S, we have a cutout window on the top of the tool exposing a stop block. To adjust the stroke of the tool, you move the stop block either to the left to increase the stroke or to the right to reduce the stroke. What we are doing is moving the stop block in and out, changing the stroke length of the air motor in the tool. To determine the proper pulling distance for a rivet nut, we measure what is called the installed length of the rivet nut. So what we will do is install a rivet nut into a base material and measure the height of the back of the rivet nut. So I'm going to increase the pulling distance of the tool. I will put a little pressure on the rivet nut, it will spin onto the tool, put it in material, pull the trigger installing the rivet nut, and there you see the rivet nut installed. I will take some verniers and measure the installed length of the rivet nut. Okay. We are currently at 445 thousandths and the recommended installed length for this style of rivet nut is below 380 thousandths. So we have a little bit more pulling distance that we require. So I will take our tool and turn the stop block farther out. I will test another rivet nut. Now I'm at 387 thousandths, so I have a little bit farther to go. Take the tool, move the stop block out some more. I'll try one more rivet nut. We are now at 365 thousandths, so now we have a properly installed 